Sometimes the teacher becomes the student. And that is exactly what happened to me earlier this week. I was teaching a class of students on SolidWorks Sheet Metal Fundamentals, and I thought that I was running into a bug in the new build of SolidWorks where my sheet metal bend lines were not showing correctly in a drawing. Really, they were not showing at all. Let me show you what I mean. I go to the command file, make drawing from part. I choose my drawing template and a B-size ANSI landscape sheet format. I start bringing in my different standard drawing views, maybe bring in an isometric view, and then I choose to bring in my flat pattern. When I go to drag and drop that flat pattern in, my bend lines are not displaying. Now, I've been using SolidWorks for a long time, but only recently upgraded to one of the newer builds of SolidWorks. And so when this occurred, the very first thing that I thought is, this is probably a bug. I click on this drawing view, I come over here to bend lines, and look at this, bend lines is shown. Bend notes is, is shown. Let's uncheck it and check it on again. It says it's also gonna remove the bend notes. Okay, remove the bend lines and the bend notes. Hit the check mark again over here. Hit this check mark here. Hmm. The notes come back, but the bend lines are still not there. Now, I've also done tech support for a long time, and there were plenty of cases where people would call me up in tech support and the bend lines were not showing, and it turned out that it was some kind of a bug, or maybe they had templates that were older than the newer architecture of sheet metal, or maybe some other issue with the software. But not this time. This time it was on me. This time it was time for the teacher to become the student, because one of the students in my class, Connor, shout out to Connor, Connor said to me, you know what, Toby, we actually ran into this issue ourselves on site. And the issue is that here in the heads up toolbar underneath this eyeball, there's a setting for view bend lines. And so if we go down here and we turn that on, oh yeah, look at that. Now our bend lines are displaying properly. View bend lines. So I'm not exactly sure why SolidWorks added that, but regardless, an easy enough fix. I can just go in there to view bend lines. Now, another thing that Connor shared with me that he learned on site at his company was that if you go to the command smart dimension, you can choose to dimension to this bend line. However, if we go into this view flyout menu and view sketches is not enabled, well, the bend lines still show up, but now I can no longer dimension to those bend lines. See, I can't snap to that bend line. I can't add that dimension. So we want to make sure that view sketches and view bend lines are both turned on here. View sketches, view bend lines. And now let's save this off as a template so that this just works for all of our future drawings. So I'm going to come over here to the tree. I'm going to pick the first drawing view. I'm going to hold shift and pick the last drawing view. I'm going to press delete and I'm going to choose yes to all, delete all those drawing views. I'm also going to delete my sheet format out of the tree. This way, whenever I start a new SolidWorks drawing and pick this template, I'll be asked what sheet format I want to use. So I'll delete the sheet format from the tree as well. And now I'm ready to save this off as a drawing template. View sketches is turned on, view bend lines is turned on. We're in a good spot here. So I'm gonna say file, save as, and let's save this as a drawing template. Go into my menu here, drawing template. And I'll call this drawing sheet metal, drawing sheet metal. All right, and save. And now I'm going to close this drawing. I'm gonna go back to my part file, file, make drawing from part. Now I'm gonna choose this new template that I created. Remember, I deleted the sheet format before I created the template. So now the next screen that comes up says, what size sheet format do you wanna use? B ANSI landscape, okay. And now we're gonna drag in our flat pattern and oh yeah, that's what we wanted. Our bend lines are there, right there waiting for us. And if we go to smart dimension, we can dimension to the location of those bend lines. So hopefully this video will help some of you not be frustrated when you upgrade your version of SolidWorks to one of these newer versions. And if it does, and if you enjoy this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you learned anything from this video. And if you're ever interested in learning more about the wonderful world of SolidWorks sheet metal, take a look down below. I've included all the information for our upcoming sheet metal training classes. I hope this video helped everybody, and I'll look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.